think it was done while it was in the Right. So you see how they're sitting um, on the inside in that photograph? Yeah. But back in the 1800s, it would have been that they would have been on the other side because I have one other picture. Maybe. They took the well, window out. Dick, that explains yeah. your question on about the, the makers. Floor, they took the window right out in order to get it out. They get couldn't it out. get it down. Oh, they did? Oh. Yeah. Interesting. That window is still... I think we should go in there again. Remember we went up those Crockett? Yeah, we went up the thing. I couldn't fit through that hole now. <laughs> Bill, what was the benefit of having it on the floor, of having four reporters well, right there in the front? It custom that reporters could be right there and watch everything. Well, they still are. If you look, the Senate still has yeah, a reporter's yeah, table. Yeah. Out by, uh, in the Senate, and we still have a uh, reporter's gallery basically on a riser all the way back out, out back. They didn't need risers and such back then to film anything because they weren't filming. They'd take some stills uh, later in the 40s and 50s and up to the 70s. Might have been there to hear better. But they were there to hear. They could see, they could watch, like you said, they could see the goings on. And of course, you know, the size of the legislature at that time uh, during that whole period was even higher than 400 at one point. It was uh, yeah. 420. 430 something. 430 something at one point, then it got brought back down. Now so the house was pretty large, obviously. Now, could the reporters ask questions of the lawmakers as they walked to the podium? I don't know the practice myself. They weren't supposed to, but they did. <laughs> I mean, they didn't go to the podium, but they would ask legislators to explain to as they walk by. Yeah. yeah. And I, knowing legislators, I'm sure that they were engaging the reporters regularly. They would engage them, yeah. They would engage them regularly, trying to get their spin on whatever they're doing. And the spin hasn't, isn't new. It was happening back then. <laughs> <laughs> so where was the roster at that point? The speaker, did people, representatives speaking, where did they speak? They probably from? still spoke right here in the well. There was probably a, I don't see it. You can't really yeah, see it. No, see it must it. have been. When they did the renovation. See, that, well, see the mic there? They were probably freestanding mics. See that old mic? Mm -hmm. You see that right Right before the typewriter. <laughs> Notice the typewriter. We have computers I, I see something. Okay. There's a block there, and that was an old mic on a stand. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. see it? Uh -huh. yeah. And it was one of those big headed mics, and I'm sure that's what they used. Okay. Well, that's but if you see, we did make them stand there. Yeah. And they could, when well, we still make them stand, but we gave them a, a, a well now so to speak out of. And that was part of the uh, renovations, too. And if you look at all these old dials here for, for controlling the sound system. Well, yeah, uh, that's what this came from, is the Andy Anderson. Book. And of course, there's, there's no there's picture uh, in the book. voting system in 41. Right. So roll calls were, were few and far between back then. Do you know when they um, opened the press office, the press room on the first uh, that, floor? The press room was dedicated in 96, I believe. That's the Tibbetts room. Uh, they dedicated it as the Tibbetts room. But that was there. Because this is the picture. That, that was there before that. I mean, because yeah. it was there. Was there I, I got in in 87. Billy might know that. I think that was there in the late 70s. So that, uh, yeah. The late I, 70s? I'm, when, it's, when it got there, I don't know, because I didn't come to 74. Yeah, but it was there. Yeah. It was yeah, there and active in eight, well, I, I, I came in 87 as a member. There's a picture, this picture. Sorry. Hey, Bill? Do you know when the press room was... Uh, Here's when they're facing. The other way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the desk was off to the side in this picture. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so that, there's... Uh, it's on the same side, but it's just facing differently. And see the two mics they used to speak from? Yeah. They had turned it around. But in this picture, it looks like it's more or less it's in this the way. front. The front see, of they it. used to face to the podium, and then they see switched. The, and had the podium's here? Yeah. yeah. And it's the same place. It's just turned around. They're facing the membership instead of the, instead of the speaker now. And in this picture, you can see the two mics that they spoke Sorry, from. Are mm -hmm. interested in the desk? Do you know when they opened the reporter's room down here on the first floor? At that, right around the 75, at the same time, right around the same time. Yes. Nancy, he says about 75 they opened the reporter's room. Okay, but they still kept the space in the back of the house. Yes. Robert created this room there. Yeah. Two. This was the... Yeah. I have the proper oh, interesting stuff. You do? This is the just a marvelous place to have the uh, honor to work in, really. It's a living working museum and it's and it just burns me when you know people just dispose of stuff not knowing. Yeah. So we had a 
I was at the White Farm because I used to shop there regularly with the uh, for stuff for the house because we're pretty frugal. Yeah, they're facing to the. So we found a uh, oak desk. Oh, you did. There's the desk. See him smoking. Yeah, they all smoked. The place was banked down to the floor with smoke for crying out loud. Yeah, that's the actual picture. And there's the two mics they used. Instead of wells, they just actually went up and used the mics. This is pre, uh, obviously pre uh, <coughs> 75 renovation. Same is clock's there, still there. Is there a date? Uh, the, well, 1945. The vote that I had to take on the rules of the house was whether to cut off smoking after the first hour of the session. Uh, <laughs> because you could smoke the whole time, but after, but it got so much smoke in there. So one of my first votes was to do that. And this is how the times have changed, because I never smoked. Neither of my parents ever smoked. But when I cast that vote, I remember, I was, and I had a day book. So I have my first six-month legislative session. I have every day, I wrote down what I... What happened uh, during that day? And I voted that they could still smoke. <laughs> that, that that was a free, a, an, an issue of personal freedom. That Because we didn't know anything about the smoke. Was, but it was like if somebody wanted to smoke, that's up to them. Who am I to... Even though I didn't smoke, I, I didn't come from a house that smoked. Why would you infringe on their right to smoke? Yeah. So it was interesting because they were still smoking in the chamber in the ante room until we did the renovation in 2003 three. or 4, I think. 3, I guess. 3 it was. into 4. Cause yeah. So we took the, uh, the ante room, still had a smoke eater in it, and that was the only place that you could smoke in the, in the chamber still. And that was just, I mean, I had staff going crazy downstairs. We'd have to send them home. And when we did the renovation, I uh, talked to the speaker to allowing us uh, to stop it and he was quite angry because he goes i'm gonna lose the votes of all the smokers <laughs> says i can't stop smoking in the anthem i said well it's a safety issue i can't not do it. it's a health and safety issue and so i brought the fire academy over with the smoke generator and we banked the thing full of smoke it was peanut colada smelling smoke because you could flavor it and we banked the thing full and charged the whole anteroom full and then clicked on the um smoke eater because the person down in lba used to complain constantly all she smelled was smoke and she couldn't stand the smell of smoke and it was bad for her and she had to go home. So every session day, I'd send that lady home and say, take the day off because she's going home sick because she can't stand the smoke. So as soon as we clicked on the smoke eater, the smoke billowed down, went right down and into her window so she wasn't making it oh, up. Really and it rolled right across the portico. So the smoke, because you could see it, it was visual because it was a smoke generation machine that they, the firemen train in. And it rolled right down, and it came rolling back through, and I had neglected to call the Concord Fire Department, so they ended up thinking the house, so state house was on fire, so they responded, which is pretty funny. So we said it, but we proved it, and I said, there's your proof. We can't have a smoking room anymore. It's just not going to work. It did come down here. And, then and there everybody the smelled it in the, the place. And the smoke right. came in, too. So we stopped that, and we eliminated that, and that's gone now. That, that, that's the and what year was that? Right there. Uh, 2003. See him smoking? Imagine that. Yep. That's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. And of course... Prior to that, they had passed so the law that there was no smoking in public buildings, that's, that's but we were him. exempt from that's Sure. Yeah, so we, we eliminated that. And I'll tell you, I had some angry members. I'm sure. Uh, Leo Papino, God rest his soul, was uh, one of them. He said, kid, he goes, I, you can't do that to me. He goes, I've got a perfect voting record, Leo Papino. He goes, I've got a perfect voting record. I haven't missed a roll call. And if I'm out having a cigarette and I missed the roll call because you closed that thing down, I said, you're going to have the hell hell to pay. <laughs> he was so mad. I said, Leo, I'll make sure, I'll go get you, okay? I said, I'll go get you. <laughs> so that picture pretty funny is stuff. 1941. This one's 1945. 45, yeah. So that change happened right about then. What change? The change of the desk. The turning of the desk. The turning of the desk. Because yeah. here in 45, they're, they're facing the other, the, way. the other way. But there, they're facing out. So it, they turned. See, 1941... But there must have been a practical reason that they did this. But I, for the life of me, I don't understand what it would be. 